hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization as we head into the last 24 hours of the Trumpo scene. Hallelujah. So that would make today, what is it, Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. Uh, here in this undisclosed swamp on the planet, and I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles, and uh, several things on my mind today, but uh, I want to spend most of this rant talking about uh, AI saving the planet or not, but I just want to touch on a couple of more. And uh, all kidding aside, you know, I'm trying to work up some enthusiasm uh, here at the end of the Trump scene with the beginning of the Biden scene and uh, trying to find anything to celebrate. But all kidding aside, I, you know, let's give the guy a little bit of a hand uh, about revoking the Keystone XL pipeline permit once and for all, which he might do as soon as tomorrow, but by the end of the week, Keystone XL pipeline should be dead in the ground, as it were. Thank you, Joe Biden, all kidding aside, but I just, I just wanted to touch on this article from the National Review. Keystone XL pipeline vows to use only renewable energy is Biden eyes revoking permit. The developer of the Keystone oil pipeline is set to announce a number of environmentally friendly changes to the project in hopes of winning President-elect Joe Biden's endorsement. Yes, as he looks to issue an executive order canceling the project as early as this week. Um, looking to save the $8 billion project, Canada's TC Energy has pledged to use only renewable energy, you know, to move some of the nastiest uh, unsustainable, unrenewable uh, fossil fuels anywhere on the planet in order to get the dirtiest fossil fuels anywhere on the planet from point A to point B. Uh, yes, uh, these planet eaters have pledged to use only renewable energy, huh? Promising to spend $1.7 billion on solar, wind, and battery power to run the unfinished 2,000-mile pipeline system between Alberta, Canada, and Texas. Yes. Um, it has promised to eliminate all greenhouse gas emissions from, op meaning from its pipeline operations by 2030 and has promised to acquire renewable acquire renewable power for the entire network though that may take until 2030 to finish yes this is Richard Pryor. I, I love it that he has the name of a comedian. This guy, the, the, this comment from Richard Pryor, the president of TC Energy's Keysty, Keystone XL expansion project, uh, dwarfing any hilarious comment ever made by comedian Richard Pryor. Quote, in our view, this... The Keystone XL Pipeline is the most sustainable and environmentally friendly pipeline project that has ever been built. Thank you, uh, Richard Pryor, for today's uh, knee slapper. This one uh, from the New York Times, I should... I might come back to this one and uh, make a further rant. I just want to touch on it today. Business Businesses aim 
to pull greenhouse gases from the air. Yes, it's a gamble. A surge of corporate money could soon transform carbon removal from science fiction to reality. But there are risks. The very idea could offer industry an excuse to maintain dangerous habits. Yes, uh, using technology, this again is the New York Times, using technology to suck carbon dioxide out of the sky has long been dismissed as an impractical way to fight climate change. Physically possible, yes, but far too expensive to be of much use. Uh, but as global warming accelerates and society continues to emit greenhouse gases at a dangerous rate, the idea is gaining support from a surprising source. Large companies facing pressures to act on climate. Um, You know, these, these companies say that all these various uh, ridiculous BS techniques uh, may be the only way to fulfill lofty net zero based pledges. Yep. Uh, and take a wild guess, uh, a wild guess. Why would these giant corporations be cheering on this greenwashing techno-utopian thing? Let's listen one more time. This is Jennifer Wilcox from the University of Pennsylvania, which, you know, same where, isn't that where, no, Michael Mann works at Penn State, uh, although I assume the University of Pennsylvania also heavily funded by fracking. Uh, anyway, take it away, Jennifer. Carbon removal should not be seen as a get-out-of-jail-free card. That is exactly what they're looking for, as the New York Times explains the the reason these uh, these planet eaters are cheering this all this BS techno utopian technology that ain't ever gonna happen is because it allows them to keep dumping CO2 in the air because Rumpelstiltskin is just gonna come suck it out of the air during the night. It's a bunch of crap. The New York Times knows it and everybody else does. But anyway, um, I want to get to the article uh, I um, meant to get with. You know, guys, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wrap this one up here uh, because I understand... Uh, I was looking at the analytics... Uh, Collapse Chronicles, and, uh, you know, usually my videos are, I try to aim them for 20 to 30 minutes, but according to my analytics, the average view duration for one of my videos is 11 minutes and 28 seconds that the average viewer listens to me rambling on about the collapse of a planet since I'm nine minutes into this. Uh, and I can't read the article I came to read in two and a half minutes. I'll just come back for a separate rant. But for this one, I mean, all kidding aside, guys, uh, let, let, let's try to be positive about President Joe Biden uh, and, uh, and cheer him on for revoking the permit of the most sustainable and environmentally friendly pipeline ever to be built. The Keystone XL pipeline, yes. Uh, thank you, Richard Pryor. And I will be back. I'm uh, going to come back with this article from uh, whoever MP 
in is titled es Escaping the Singularity Why Artificial Intelligence Will Not Save the Planet. So come back for that one in a minute. Bye guys.